aside from my being a producer, uh, I play the fiddle. So I've always known about this, this character from Maine called Melly Dunham. I didn't really know a lot about him. I knew a couple of the tunes that he had written, and we played them at some of the local uh, dances in the Grange Halls around. Uh, he entered a local fiddle contest, won it, uh, came to the attention of Henry Ford, who had an interest in reviving country music, paid Melly and his wife's way to go out to uh, Dearborn and to play with his orchestra, uh, Henry Ford's orchestra, teach them some of his tunes, and this became a huge media attraction. Now, if you're familiar with Norway, Maine, there were over 10,000 people who turned out to wish him well. Uh, as a result of this, he got a vaudeville contract with the Keith's Vaudeville uh, circuit, the biggest vaudeville circuit in the country. And, and this was a guy who wasn't a great musician, but he was a character. They called him the sawed-off Mark Twain, short with a big mustache. So uh, that was all very interesting to me, uh, to find the old photographs, old newspaper articles. We used a lot of that in the piece. Um, we actually found film footage from the Ford archives of Melly Dunham playing with the Henry Ford Orchestra. So this was just, a, for me, a real treat to see, actually see him uh, and the moves that he had. But even more uh, was meeting his granddaughter, Lona Bedard. Uh, she's in her 90s, still lives in Norway, uh, and plays every week. She's a piano player. Uh, as a teenager growing up, she played with her, she calls him her Grampy. So we set her up on stage in the old Norway Grange, and while we were setting up the shot, um, I, I had my fiddle with me because I wanted to make her feel comfortable that I, I understood where she was coming from. And I sat down and started playing with her while our cameraman, Caleb Crosby, rolled tape. And so I've got some, uh, some great memories of playing with Melly's granddaughter. And we played some of his tunes, uh, played things like Red Wing, which was a, a very popular dance tune at the time. He would have played it at all of the, uh, the dances. And uh, then we used some of the shots of just the shadow of the bowing arm on the piano while she was playing uh, in the piece, which kind of gave a, a bit of a, of, a, of a memory, you know, sort of a shadow, if you will. Uh, and it was really a, a, a pleasure for me uh, to, to meet the, the people who, who actually were there. It's one thing to do a piece about history and, and memories, and, and you're collecting this from old footage and old photographs, but to actually have first person uh, uh, details uh, for me really makes the piece and I, I think that, that the combination of the old film, old footage, old pictures and Lona telling us about her Grampy uh, was what just brought the piece over the top for me. <laughs> right on. <laughs>